Call of Duty World War II. It is official. The world reveal happened. And boy, did we get way more information than I thought we were going to. We got single player information, multiplayer, and even zombies information. We're going to be talking about all of those today. But first, I want to actually show you guys the trailer just in case you haven't quite seen it yet. It's about two minutes long. So if you've already seen it, maybe just skip two minutes ahead. We're going to break down the trailer and then talk about two things that were released today that are not actually in the trailer. So without further ado, here is the trailer. This day have set upon a mighty endeavor. Souls will be shaken with the violences of war in this hour of great sacrifice. We shall prevail. Get your head down and keep moving! We are all that separates the world from darkness. The enemy is ruthless. We cannot, we must not fail. Duty first. There is! Won't be enough for you! We executed the mission. Get me the fuck out of here! How many? We had orders! Get to cover! Lieutenant, tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great. Welcome to the Bloody First. You're a long way from Texas for him, boy. Pre-order now and get access to the private beta. So the first thing that the trailer starts off with is saying that this is actual in-game footage, and that actually means something more than in-engine footage. A lot of the time when you watch like E3 trailers and stuff like that, it says game footage was recorded in-engine. That doesn't mean anything. That means it's basically computer generated. When it says in-game footage like it does in this trailer, that means that all everything you're seeing is one of two things, either gameplay or an actual cutscene from the game itself. So this is what the cutscenes at the very minimum are going to look like in the game and if you pay really close attention there are actually some circumstances where you actually do get to see a very little bit of gameplay so as far as the story goes i really can't tell you much you probably don't already know it takes place during world war ii and i believe all of it is actually going to take place in europe there won't be anything to do with japan or anything like that it's mainly going to be mainland battles from europe now the thing with that is there's also the big scene and the big opening scene of this trailer takes place at normandy during D-Day and assumably that is going to be an absolutely massive part of the game and boy does it ever look good. As you can tell by the trailer, they are really trying to make this game gritty and dark, but at the same time beautiful, and that's really what they stressed in the world reveal, is yes, this is a World War II game, it's going to be gritty, there's going to be lots of blood, gore, and violence, but at the same time, it's going to be beautiful and good looking, uh, like a good game should be. So as far as other things we saw campaign-wise in this game, so we saw Storming Normandy, another couple things we saw was tanks, and we saw lots of airplanes, as there should be, that's a large majority of what World War II actually was. It was infantry versus tanks versus planes and that kind of thing. So that's nice to see. So as far as actual gameplay goes, we didn't get to see a ton of first person stuff, but some of the things we did see was a guy reloading the M1 Grand, which actually looked really good. We also got to see a guy using a flat cannon or an AA gun, which looked pretty good, taking down some airplanes. And on top of that, we saw a bunch of people carrying around grease guns. And if you didn't already know, grease guns is basically the MP40 from Call of Duty World at War. So that's another good gun to see in the game. Now, I'm going to be making a video in the future talking about even more weapons we learned that were going to be in it, but that should probably be out either Friday or Saturday, so stay tuned for that. So the only other thing we really learned about the campaign, and that was pretty much all the trailer was, was campaign stuff, is that this game is going to focus on a group or platoon of three people. 
and there's going to be some other characters strewn in throughout the game. But it's going to focus on these three people and how they're kind of a band of brothers, if you will, because that's really what they wanted to focus on, the brotherhood which war creates. And that's going to be really interesting to see. So what I'm guessing is there's going to be a lot of bonding and there's going to be a lot of loss. So in other words, someone's going to die. So aside from the trailer and campaign, we also learned four other things today. The first of which is a multiplayer beta is confirmed. So this beta, you have to pre-order the game and then you will receive a code for the beta just like the past few Call of Duty games have had. And on top of that, we are going to get to see multiplayer gameplay at E3. In fact, if you're going to E3, you're actually going to be able to actually play the game at Sledgehammer's booth, which is really exciting. On top of that, Another thing we learned about multiplayer is this new idea called Headquarters, and basically, it's a social space. I'm going to be making a complete separate video later today talking about that, because I think this is one of the biggest questions to do with the World Reveal, and it's not an easy answer. And finally, the last thing that we learned about World War II is Zombies is confirmed. That is right, Nazi Zombies is back, and this is incredibly, incredibly exciting, not necessarily because we get another Zombies mode, but because they said this is not going to be your average zombie mode we are making it like a horror game and this is actually really exciting to see in infinite warfare the zombies mode is kind of arcadey it's more cartoony and stuff like that and then going forward to world war ii we are going to have a super gritty actually scary zombies mode come out and i am super interested to see what they're actually going to do with this because if you didn't already know they were actually some of the people that worked on dead space which is actually a pretty damn scary game so it's going to be really interesting to see what they can do with call of duty zombies but that's pretty much all of the information we got today i tried to sum it up as much as i could Later today, we're going to be looking at headquarters throughout the rest of the week. We're going to be looking at some of the guns coming to Call of Duty World War II. But guys, if you are stoked, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, it'd be fantastic if you could hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I got many, many more Call of Duty World War II videos coming. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are.